Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am super excited because I'm finally the proud owner of the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Muse lipsticks. So Lisa Eldridge is a famous makeup artist. Um, I've been following her for quite some time on her YouTube channel and she's just amazing. She released her uh, lipstick collection, I think it was last year, and uh, she released a couple of very bright shades like the reds and pinks. Now I don't wear these shades so I didn't really get them, but I did binge watch a lot of YouTube videos uh, reviewing and raving about these lipsticks. So this year, recently when she announced the nude collection, obviously I had to get them because I always wear nude lipsticks or at least I prefer wearing nude lipsticks most of the times. So here it is. And I ordered this uh, set of three lipsticks and it came in this cute little pouch. So let's check these out. So in this beautiful pouch, I have three lipsticks and here these are and they are these golden packaged lipsticks. Now each lipstick you buy on its own is around 26 pounds. But if you buy the entire set, like the set of three with this pouch, it costs you $75, which is $25 per lipstick. So you save $1 plus you get this pouch. So I was like, why not? So now I have these uh, three shades and they're all full size and each is what 3.5 grams or something. I don't know if you care about this stuff. I honestly don't but they are these magnetic uh, bullets. So the first one is the shade Velvet Fawn and it looks like this. Now in all these lipsticks you'll notice that there is some texture on the side and it gives that velvety look to it but from the top it's just normal matte glossy sort of lipstick. Now let me swatch this. So this is how it looks and it really is super super creamy. It looks matte but it's really very, very creamy. The next one is Velvet Muse. And this is this kind of pinkish beige shade, I think. So let me swatch this. This is how it looks. And this one is Velvet Decade and it's this super rich brown shade. And yeah, that's how it swatches. So just to compare it with the Pat McGrath lipsticks uh, that I have, so the first one is 19.95, and I'll just um, apply these on the side so you can see. I think 19.95 is kind of close to Velvet Fawn. Next, I have Omi, and Omi might be comparable to maybe. There's a slight difference between the Muse and Omi, I think or they might be super close. We'll apply them on the lips and see. And just for the sake of it, I have the Fembot shade, which is this pink shade from Pat McGrath. So that's how this compares. It's definitely more pinkier than these. So a couple of other nude lipsticks that I have. So this is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the, I think, Hepburn Honey shade. So let me apply that right here. And this one's uh, not a matte shade, it's more of a creamy shade. So this one's slightly more nude and warm. Another uh, nude lipstick that I wear a lot is this Hypnotic Nude shade from Dior. And it's a very pinky shade, so I'll just swipe it somewhere here. So it's, it's also like a pinky comparable shade to the Velvet Muse. And this is the MAC Velvet Teddy shade, in case you were wondering, so I'll just swatch it right here. So this is pretty similar to the Fawn shade, but this is um, a little lighter, I think. So now I will apply these lipsticks on my lips. So the first one is this Fawn shade. And let me see. I did have some lip balm previously, I've removed it and I have a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude uh, Lipstick Liner a little bit, but most of it is gone. It's just a little bit. Now I'll just apply this shade. And it's super, super creamy. It's just, it just feels so good and yet it looks super matte. Yeah, I absolutely love this lipstick. So I don't think it's too light for my uh, skin tone. I think it just works really well with my skin shade. So yeah, that's Velvet Fawn. So just in case you were wondering how the Pat McGrath lipstick 1995 looks on the lip, 
for comparison, I took the liberty of removing half the lipstick from my lip and I'll apply this right here. So that's how it compares. Now this one, Pat, the Pat McGrath one looks pinky. Whereas the Fawn one is uh, actually like a true my skin but better um, nude. So I'll just reapply this one more time so it shows up better. There's a subtle difference. This one's more pinky and this one's more like brown. So this one's Velvet Muse and just to swatch it one more time, it's this deep brown shade and I will apply this on my lip. Again, it feels really, really creamy. It, it looks so matte and yet so creamy and super comfortable. Whoa, love this. It's totally giving me Omi vibes for sure, but it's just, it's very creamy. Like I, you cannot say that this is a matte lipstick. The way it feels on the lips, it's just rich, creamy, comfortable. Yeah, I absolutely love this. So that's Velvet Muse. So I'll apply the Omi shade on the right side now just to compare. Okay, um, I think Omi also is, well, it's almost the same. Huh, yeah, very similar, but darker, right? Just a subtle difference. So the last shade I have is Velvet Decade and it's this super rich brown shade. Now I will apply this in installments. I'll just start off with, um, you know, taking this lipstick a little bit on my fingers and, and apply this and see how it looks and then build it up. So just adding that deep brown color to my lip. Love this. However, I have to say, I would probably not use my finger. It's just, it feels like a lot of work to me. I'm not used to it. So that's Velvet Decade with the finger. Now I will apply the whole thing. Oh, it's not patchy at all. I've tried this, but I, it's beautiful. I just love applying this lipstick. Oh my God, I love this shade. I don't have anything to compare this lipstick with. It's just fabulous on its own. It's it's dark and yet it's bearable. It blurs my lips. It's comfortable. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. I, I honestly love this lipstick shade. It's such a nice fall, uh, wintry sort of nude dark lipstick. Love this. It's, yeah. Oh man, beautiful. That's Velvet Decade. So another way I wear dark lipsticks is I always uh, use these very, very light lipsticks. Uh, this one and let's say the 1995 from Pat McGrath and I have a couple of others from Tarte. They're light lipsticks uh, and what I do is I apply a dark lipstick and then I take the light one and kind of lighten the dark lipsticks according to what I'm in the mood for. So. That's what I'll do for this one and show you how it looks. So it automatically mellows it down a little bit. And yet it is a dark lipstick. I love this. I love this so much. It makes me want to cry. Oh, beautiful. Right? That's decade mixed with fawn 
So another way, which is the opposite way, is also pretty handy. So I'll take the fawn lipstick first and apply that. So that's fawn and now I will take the Decad lipstick and apply it on top of fawn. I know it's the same thing but I think it makes a difference. So let's see how it looks. So that's a bit of ombre because I just apply it on the sides and I'll just build it up a little bit. And if you notice now, it's a light lipstick, which is a little bit darker. So that's what <laughs> I was trying to show that makes a difference uh, which lipstick you apply first. So this is Fawn topped with Decade. And I really like this combination as well. So these were all the swatches and comparisons of the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks that I own. Needless to say, they are amazing. They are so soft, super comfortable. Um, they almost have this blurring effect on the lips and make my textured super dry lips look nicer. So that's amazing. And they are expensive, but they're not that expensive. Uh, they retail for $33, I think, after tax and shipping and all included. Uh, if you, especially if you buy the pouch, uh, with the pouch and if you buy them alone, standalone, I think it's a dollar expensive or something. But they are still cheaper than the Pat McGrath ones. Pat McGrath ones are for $40. Again, those are really good too. But I feel like they these are almost the same quality, if not better. So they are totally, totally worth it. And I obviously love them. Now, I do regret not buying the other set, which had the pink nude lipsticks. And they are currently out of stock. But I am refreshing my website <laughs> and constantly uh, on the lookout whenever they are in stock. I am going to buy those for sure. And until that happens, I actually ended up buying the pink and the red ones. The bright colored ones that they released previously, they were in stock. And because I liked these so much that I ended up buying those as well. And they're on the way and I'm going to be trying them on. I hope they look good on me. I have a good feeling they will. So I will be posting uh, another video of swatches and comparisons of those pink and red lipsticks. So stay tuned for that. And I hope this was helpful. So if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. And until the next time you meet, bye.